Hi y'all, this is Terry coming to you from Alabama. I have an unboxing. I'll have to say I did peek at it though. Um, this is from Selena from Amour Fabrics. And it is her boho kit. This is the second one I bought from her. Her kits are wonderful. She puts the best energy into every kit she makes. So as I said, Amour Fabriques. Oops, let's see. There we go. And it's owned by Selena. You can also follow her at Amour Fabriques on Facebook. Oh my, look at this lovely piece. Wow. Fades into pink. It's kind of a peachy pink. All of these little flowers could be cut out and used individually as appliques. Or definitely as a tipping. Wow. Very, very nice. Yes. Lovely. Ooh. Purple. One of my favorites. Oh, that's a nice piece. That's a nice long piece. I could make a small journal out of that one. Yes, that's nice. Oh, this one's pretty. It's got gold thread woven throughout it. Burgundies and purples. That's lovely. Hmm. Oh, this is like that Pashmere. It looks like maybe from a shawl. That is wonderful fabric. Yes. I love the little tram on it. You know, that's a perfect size for a mini journal. Let's see how wide it is. It is about six inches. And double that by 12. So yeah, that would make a nice mini journal. Oh, here's a piece of silk fabric. That's really nice. Do a lot of things with this. You make some of those um, fabric pockets, boho pockets, like um, rock paper treasures, Kristen does. That's nice. Oh, wow. Teal and pink. Great colors. Wow. And that's a good piece, too. Pardon my old ruler. It's an antique. That's 14 by, by like nine and a half. By the time you add a little bit to the edges, that would be a nice size little journal. <clears throat> oh, pretty piece of sheer fuchsia, purple fuchsia. I like that. That'd be a nice tipping. Of course, all of these scraps would be great boho beads to match the journals. This is pretty. I'm not sure what kind of fabric this is. It's um, not tightly woven, but it's kind of um, a stiff, stiffer fabric. I don't know if they, it's got a sizing on it. But wow, each of these little things could be cut out as appliques. Beautiful. Oh, that's the right side. Wow. Look at the glitz on that. 
That's lovely. I think there's a purple journal in my future. Ooh, that's pretty and brilliant. Very royal jewel tones. Very pretty. I love their vibrant colors and their color combinations. Ooh, this is a satin fabric with a lot of glimmer to it. It's beautiful. It feels very good to the hands. That's another good size piece. Mm. They make a good base to put some sequin pieces across the top. Or I could put several of those purples together and do like a patchwork. That would be pretty. Oh, I love this. Look at those figures. The typical um, Indian tribal figures. That is really neat. I don't know if that's one of their goddesses or if it's a takeoff of the temples they have there. That's pretty. Oh my goodness, this is a long piece. Look at that. Man, that's 16, 14 inches long or wide. Man, look at that. Double that size. That's like a portion of a scarf or one of their wraps. Ooh, pretty. Oh, that's definite journal material. That's cotton and a heavyweight cotton. Yep, I had the right side. I think it goes this way. That's about, let's see, that's 11 by by 16. Might make a nice journal. Either side could be the front. Oh, this is so cool. I bought one of these Knutha quilts from Selena and didn't have the guts to cut the thing up. It was so beautiful. So it's on our couch. And these things wash in delicate in my machine and I dried it just partially to get the severe wetness out and let it damp dry and it did wonderful. Of course it's vintage material so they've washed it before. Wow. It smells good too. Oh wow. This is a pretty piece. Kind of reminds me of uh, Mexican textiles. But it's definitely tribal Indian. Oh, look how good it looks with the yellow. It's a nice piece there. That feels like a mixture of chiffon and maybe some cotton. Definitely chiffon. Ooh, you have my attention here. Look at these together. Oh my goodness. Look at that. This with it. Oh my goodness. 
That is fantastic. Look at that piece. Oh, man. I love those colors. Their colors are so vibrant. I don't think the camera picks them up as vibrant as they are. Oh, my. I don't have anything this color. Oh, that's beautiful. And again, with a metallic thread. And that feels like a cotton blend. Almost like it's got linen mixed in with it. And it may be totally linen. The way it's woven together, it does feel like linen. Oh, look at this piece. They would be cute together. Different shades of blue, but wow. Check that out. And it's got beads besides the sequins. Some pretty pink ones. I love that piece. Ah, look at this. This goes with that other purple fabric. Yeah. Looks like they embroidered on a different side than they had this applique. But that's okay. Oh, that's pretty. That would be easy to take a seam ripper and have two pieces of fabric there to use. Use the snippets or embellishments. That's pretty. Oops. Oh, burgundy. Light burgundy. Look at that. That is gorgeous. Check it out with this piece. Oh, yeah. Pretty. I don't know. I like it with a solid background. That's gorgeous. And more. I do love burgundy. That is beautiful. I like the pattern. Could be a sun or a flower. Oh, and another piece. Yes. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. And another burgundy. You got some good selections here, Selena. I racked up on this bunch. You can put it either way. Wow. And we have a pink. Pink and silver, and there's metallic thread in the sequins. This one has some, I think they're called bugle beads and seed beads. They do most of their sequins and stuff by hand. Uh, purple is really screaming at me here. I'm going to have to do a purple journal. Oh, look at that. It's kind of frayed on the edges. Reminds me of a boho shabby chic. And those could be cut out as individual appliques. I think this is the correct side based on the seam. Well, that's just a fold in the fabric. Beautiful. Oh, wow. This is unusual. It's got gold and copper threads in it.
That's really pretty. And again, this is that material that's a little firmer. It'll be easy to work with. Oh, this piece is lovely. There's a lime green. And that seems to be some copper or bronze and gold. I don't know if that camera picks it up. It's beautiful. Oh, it is going to be such fun working with these. Oh my goodness, Selena, thank you so much. Y'all really need to check out Amour Fabriques. It is wonderful shop. She has the most unique items. She's very, very reasonably priced. I think these mystery boxes are, they're just under $26 a piece, $25 something. And uh, she really, she really searches high and low for these things and does a fantastic job. This would have cost me a fortune to buy enough saris and trims and so forth to come up with this variety so please check her out and on the ending note i have just opened my first ever etsy shop well my husband and i have um, we have one item in there and that's a small journal i made i have several journals that i have ready but i've still got to photograph them and figure out how to manipulate or to navigate Etsy. It has it's took me about two hours to get one thing loaded. <laughs> so do come back and be uh, keeping your eyes open for future things in the shop. I'm open to any suggestions and I thank you for watching this video. See y'all later and y'all have a great day. Bye!